Go. I was an undergraduate and a PhD student at the University of Edinburgh and then went to the States. It was 100 miles from Houston, 200 miles from Dallas. The, the only significant place I travelled to was New Orleans. I had five days off in 12 months, and those five days I spent in New Orleans. Listened to some music, um, drank a lot of uh, cocktails, <laughs> had a good time over the weekend. So I got here effectively by accident because I was actually coming to London to do a postdoc at Imperial College. They offered me a job at UCL. And since my wife was coming to do a postdoc at UCL anyway, I thought, might as well take the job. And I'm still here, 32 years later. She's actually um, head of bioscience at the University of East London in Stratford. At the moment we have two cats, yeah. Um, a male Burmese, he's the chocolate one, uh, and his name is Ozzy. And then a female Bombay, she's the black one, she's Susie. So it's Ozzy Osborne and Susie Quattro. When it was at the end of my primary school years, um, they always put on a play, and it was Cinderella. And I ended up as Prince Charming. The problem is, Prince Charming has to sing, and I can't sing worth squat. And so someone else had to actually sing the lines, and I mime them on stage. Why didn't you just get that person to be That's so good. Because I was so much better looking. <laughs> I had a bike as a kid and it broke when I was about 12 years old, maybe 13 years old, and it was never replaced. And then about 40 years later, when I was 53, I actually bought a bike on the Cycle to Work scheme. Within two years I'd actually bought three bikes, spent many hundreds of pounds on cycling clothes. I cycle about 7,000 kilometres a year, and last year I cycled um, 55,000 metres. So that's the equivalent of cycling from sea level to the top of Everest seven times. So I'm quite into my bikes. This is a medal from the um, Prudential Ride London Surrey 100 from 2014. I didn't have a particularly good time. I reckon I could take at least half an hour to 45 minutes of the time in good weather conditions. Think about three albums. So the first one is easy. Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. Okay, an album which defined my teenage years, I think it's fair to say. Kind of fourth year, fifth year in high school. Second one, it has to be uh, a guitar legend. Rory Gallagher, Irish Tour, 1974. Third one's really difficult, so I'm going to cheat. Right? So what I'm going to say is, any album in which there's a live version of Leonard Skinner playing Freebird. Everyone should read Lord of the Rings. Okay, it's one of the few books that I've read multiple times. Uh, every few years, maybe three or four years, I will reread. Mm -hmm. If I could be a Lord of the Rings character, I would probably be Faithful Sam. My favourite board game is Advanced Squad Leader. It's actually the only board game I've played for the last 15 years or so. It's a Second World War tactical level game. It's got an extremely thick rule book. It's played on a hexagonal grid. I've actually won several championships, British ASL championships. I think board games should be played face to face, personally. Who would I invite for a board game night? Lewis Hamilton. I think Lewis Hamilton would be fun to sit across the table with and just roll some dice and drink a beer with. Scientists should do things because they're interested in science and if something comes out of that, grab the opportunity and make the most of it. But don't go looking for something specific like that first of all. Mm -hmm. Institutes like the Crick Institute, which are kind of independent in a way, universities aren't independent these days, are where actually these discoveries will be made and these advances will actually be taken forward. I would like to have been responsible for a constant. It doesn't really matter which constant, but have, to have your name in, on a constant for perpetuity, that's pretty cool if you ask me. It would be a, a, a large tour not to be too precocious. <laughs> Where I see the artistry in science is actually in elegant synthesis. One step flows to another and you work towards a complete picture steps, whether it's five steps or 25 steps to get to a target species, whether it's organic species or whether it's some inorganic 
elegance is art. My name is Derek Talker and I'm Deputy Head of Chemistry here at UCL.